The text messages between CJ and Nike has been leaked. Let's get into it. What's up everyone, it's your boy Martin Lewis. Welcome to my channel where I call out fake YouTubers and talk about YouTube drama. Today is going to be really different and really short and to the point. I just have to really disclose this, it is very important. You're not going to get what you usually get in my videos, very long, investigated, tied up per research video. I did do it and it's 47 minutes looking into this CJ particular drama and it was a lot of bull crap that I had to break down. Unfortunately, maybe they have some demons working for them. I don't know. My Mac was acting really weird and my project is all messed up. If you follow me on Snapchat, you will know what I'm talking about. Or if you follow me on Twitter, I keep you guys posted. So check the link below so you can stay connected with that. And because I still have the footage in my camera, you might see me in a different outfit, just so you know. So I am kind of combining this and another video together just to get to the point. So yeah. But at the end of the day, this video isn't particularly for the people that don't watch CJ. It's important for the people who do because you guys are getting manipulated and lied to. And I, it, this video is just more for them, okay? If you're new to my channel though, make sure to hit that subscribe button with the bell because hopefully Hopefully I will be able to get this file fixed and it will be uploaded tomorrow but I'm still going to show you the receipts, the text messages, alleged text messages and the, the just so obvious lies that um, CJ has been telling you guys. Let's get straight into this drama. So CJ, the first lie that CJ has been telling you is that he has not been in a relationship with Nike when he has. Me and the mother of my child were never in a relationship, okay? I was in a relationship with someone by the name of Samantha. You go to his Facebook, I suggest you do it now before he deletes it. I have taken some screen captures. He, there was, there's evidence back in 2012 that showed that he was in a, he was engaged with Nike. He even got a tattoo, but then later on changed it. He got Nike's name tattooed on his back. If he wasn't in a relationship with her, why would he go to such extremes to prove his love for her? Roll it. 23 years ago, on this day, March 29th, a king was born by the name of Cardio, James Brady. Since then, I've accomplished many goals in my life. I completed grade school and trade school with my diploma and my colony art degree. I joined the USA Navy and served a great country. I enrolled in a school to pursue my degree in criminal and the best of all last year managed to create more than a beautiful child, Kamari Mary Brady. And I am happily engaged to her mother. Nike Lewis. Oh, uh, you weren't in a relationship, right? The Nike has a twin sister that's named Nike. Every day I receive the best love and man receiving genuine love, blah, 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 with my future wife, Nike Lewis. But you weren't in a relationship. What were you in, man? See how his credibility just going like that. If he's going to lie to you guys about that, what else is he going to lie about? Happy Valentine's Day or all the love of my life, Nike Lewis. He also celebrated her birthday. He so was not in a relationship with her, but he got a tattoo of her name. Problem with the baby mama is when she thought she tried to finesse CJ and send naked pictures to his phone. That's not co-parenting if you want to be a parent or you want him to be involved. That's why you got blocked. Now another thing I want to call out with royalty. Royalty didn't lie to you necessarily, but she didn't tell you the whole truth. Saying that Nike sent naked pictures, blah blah blah. Well, your boyfriend asked for those pictures. Not only that, he also sent a picture to Nike. You send me naked pictures? That's me being direct and not or not answering with questions. Okay, I got you on the picture, but I'm trying to answer all these questions, lol. It's only been one question. What's the price? Because they're basically talking about a bed set that I looks like bed set furniture that they got for Kamari. He ends up saying, well, I'll think of the number for while you take the picture. She goes, what? What you done with the picture? The last time I heard about the picture, your girlfriend was saying something bad about it. He's the one that sent the first picture. I see you don't plan on sending anything anyway. She goes, I'm taking them now. Boom. He's getting soft. 
All family friendly YouTube, soft, he, the thing is getting soft, he's talking about his pillows, his pillows are getting really soft for him, you know what I'm saying? Royalty is calling her out for sending a picture, what a snake! Very, is very bull when you tell your audience, I have such a lovely boyfriend, he is so lovely but yet he's cheating on you and if, he, if he's willing to emotionally cheat on you and plan to cheat on you with someone else, just imagine what he's done to other girls. There's so much more I can talk about that, but I'm gonna leave that to the video that hopefully I get back tomorrow and you can watch it, but these guys play on your emotions. They play on your emotions to make you feel bad when they are in the wrong. Y'all know us for how many years? Two years, and y'all gonna go off the word of a nobody. A nobody. That's sad. For real. Uh, no. Also play on your emotion to get more likes on Live Me. We should already have 10 million likes. What's wrong with you guys? You don't love me? I need the love, man. I was in jail. I had my daughter took in front of me. What more do you guys need, man? Anyway, guys, I'm knowing your guilty pleasures. So make sure to smash that subscribe button. Give this video a like and share this video as well because I don't think it's cool that he lies to you to make someone else look bad. It's just so dumb. Also like to give a shout out to JC Baby. Big shout out to her because she helped me and connected me with the right sources for this story. Even though I wasn't able to get the big story out. Still hoping I can tomorrow. I definitely owe this girl. So a shout out to you and thank you for your help. Anyway, I'll see you guys in another drama video.